Today I want to show you guys how I set up three lefts, three rights, one center using the monolith 7x. How I basically did it was a lot of RCA cables and a lot of electrical tape. <laughs> basically, you got to, I'm gonna draw it out. First of all, you have to have an amplifier, uh, a receiver, I'm sorry, an AV receiver that has pre-outs. If your AV receiver doesn't have pre-outs, you're kind of out of luck. You gotta step up to one that has one. This is the Denon 8500, so we'll do that right here. Denon. Sorry if my spelling's off, I don't know. 8500, it's, I think it's H. I know there's AVR and all that, but we're gonna put that, put that as a box right here. A little small of a box. <laughs> so we're going to pre-out from this. There are all pre-outs on the 8500 for every channel, even left and right sub. Um, so what we're gonna do, this is the receiver. And basically this is the starting point of where the pre outs are gonna come in. So we're going to I'm gonna put what drawers. Yeah, it's pretty look at that. it's basically the same size, but we're gonna gonna exaggerate. Yeah, that's a hundred pounds worth of a box. So this, I shouldn't have drew this right in the beginning, right in the middle, but we're gonna do this as, this has seven. So it says seven sets of terminals. One, two, three, four, five, six, no shoot, I'll squeeze here, seven. Then it has, this, this is the first generation of Monolith, had a different logo. This one has, that that symbol right there. The first gen had two, three lines, then like a P. That was just their first generation. I think it came out 2016. This difference, the difference in this one is has XLR, except for the logo. This one has XLR inputs in the back, but we're not going to use that. You would use that in like a dedicated. AV processing receiver. This you would use, we're gonna use low level inputs, which are called RCA cables, which transfer low voltage. Basically XLRs have a, I think it's two positives in the ground. And they basically show that they, they send the same signal and whichever one isn't the same, it cancels out with ground, something like that. I'm not exactly positive um, how that works. I've, uh, exactly how I know. I know it's two signals are the same. Whichever one's not the same gets canceled out. So you have no hum. You'll never get like a like if you got a ground hum, uh, any distortion, not distortion, any like little ripple in like that's that came from the electricity or something that's not from the signal will not be passed through to the speakers because once it comes through it'll be rejected once it makes it to the uh amplifier but this let's say there's a ground hum you're gonna get the ground hum through unfortunately so but that's just what you got to deal with unfortunately so we're gonna just do this I'm sorry if this is the worst diagram ever, because it is. And then I'm not even gonna draw the XLRs because we're not gonna do that. And we're gonna draw, this isn't how it's gonna look in the back. I should really, I wish I had like a, you know, it would be cool to have like a picture of one and the other. But whatever, it, you guys get the point. So then you're going to have, it's going to be labeled. You're going to have the same little RCAs on the back. You're going to actually have more of them. 
and they're all going to be labeled front left front right front this whatever and basically all you got to do is connect them to the amplifier but the problem comes up how do you get three and three you know what i mean how do you get how do you double something so okay it's very simple let's say this says front left let's say this one says right here let's say that says front left Okay, and let's say that one is front right. All you do is buy yourself an RCA splitter. I'm going to do the crudest picture of this that I could ever do. Oh, God, this is getting bad. I'm looking in the camera instead of the paper. Hmm. Getting pretty bad. Okay. Whoops, this is supposed to be, this is a female. No, 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 no. Oh, I had it right. No, wait, hold on. Oh, you want to know what I did? These are, well, I extended them. So depending on how far your receiver is, this has to be a, this has to be a male. Because this, because on the back of your receiver is going to be a female, so it's going to be a male RCA. Now, if you want to extend these, you're going to need a female, and then you plug a male RCA into this, and then extend it, and then it'll have a male on the end. This is getting very technical, but very simply, what I did was I took a male. I did, when did I do? I took a, did I extend it? I don't, yeah, I did. So I did, let me look at the paper. Sorry, I'm gonna get all confused here. I did a male RCA. Two, which has a male on the other end, which was a female splitter. To a female splitter. And this split out to two to was it dual males? Let me think. Yeah, it was. It was dual males. Dual males. Sorry, I just have to remember what I actually did, because I, I got there's so much stuff back there. I'm trying to remember exactly which one is which. And then what you did. So, okay. So now you just turned. So now I just took, I extended this. This would plug into the back of the front left. Right there. That would come out. You have a regular RCA, male to male. Then you got a female splitter. And the female goes to two dual males. Now, if you just wanted two front left speakers, like this. That would be fine. You would just, you would basically just plug those right over to right there. One and one. And then you would have, then you would have doing this looking at the camera this is really hard my eyeballs are hurting okay so then you just have two okay so if you want three okay gets crazy guess what you just put another splitter on you go <laughs> this is a this is a male so this was a female so guess what you just take another and put it right there female Female to, oh God, I'm gonna put it down there. I'm getting a little bad here. These are the worst RCAs I've ever seen in my life, but it's accept, it's, it's acceptable. Male, Oop, I can't even spell male now. 
So now we have one left right here that was not plugged in. So that's one, two, three. Ooh, we did it. So then you would take, so that one's already plugged in. So, well. We're just, we're just going crazy here. Unfortunately, this is the worst drawing ever because I just showed you how to get two and then three. Basically, you need to do this. You need a male. I use the three foot RCA. You need, that's all I was right at. You need a three foot. RCA, or if you need longer, whatever length you need to get to that receiver to get to anywhere. If it, if you have to get over here, you need a six foot. You get what I mean? Wherever you need to get to get to that amplifier on top of there. Mine's real short, so three foot's fine. Three foot RCA, male to male. Oops, paper's moving. Male to male. Two female female to dual hold on I'm, I'm holding the paper <laughs> dual female to male splitter basically looks like this to this Okay, and then the one left one you would do to your center, or that's what I did. And basically, <laughs> that is unfortunately how you would get three lefts, three rights, and one center. I understand this was the worst drawing ever. I hope someone got something out of this. Just understand these are low voltage. It's not like running electricity through your outlet. You won't get electrocuted. You don't want to do this when the receiver's on. I wouldn't, but you could. Want to break something? Go ahead. Signing off.